What's up, folks? Mike Wave from TriviaThrowdownOnline.com brought to you by OddsJam.com. Going to do a series of book reviews about all things sports betting. Since sports betting became legal in Virginia a little over a year ago, I've been reading all kinds of books about sports betting. Can't get my hands on enough. So we're going to start with my favorite book, The Logic of Sports Betting by Ed Miller and Matthew Davidow. This is the first book everybody needs to read about sports betting, if that's your thing, and I'm going to tell you about why. First thing I want to talk about is what this book is. What this book is, is an introduction to all things sports betting for beginners, amateurs, and even intermediate level sports bettors. It's going to give you a foundational level knowledge on the books, the bets, market makers, lines, all the things that are happening that you're looking at to help you try and get a base level understanding of how to bet. It does have a lot of conceptual theory, which is really helpful. It has a little bit of technical stuff as well, but nothing that you would need to pull out Excel or R or your calculator truly understand. Other books will go more into that, but this one is a great read for someone you can put on your bedside table, take to the beach, and you can still learn a ton. What I also want to talk about is what this book is not. This book is not going to tell you exactly how to win money at sports betting. That book doesn't exist. Anybody who tells you otherwise is lying. What this book is going to do is going to get you down the road to doing that. A lot of sports betting is finding the right bets consistently and avoiding the bad ones. And there are so many bad ones out there. What this book is going to do is help you find some of those traps, sniff them out, and make sure you avoid. Because every less bad bet you do, you are more likely to win. The book itself is broken down into three parts. The first part, bets and the books. That's really gonna talk about what it is you're looking at. The sports books, the lines, the menu, how they're discovered, how they are created, what their movement means. This is gonna give you just kind of a foundational understanding of everything in the sports betting market. The more you can understand those things, the more you'll be easier to, for you to see good bets in the future. Having that baseline knowledge of kind of how all it works really goes a long way. And Ed and Matthew do a really good job of pulling back the curtain so you understand what you're up against. Part two is called the logic of sports betting. Stuff like getting the hold to zero, reducing that VIG, market resistance versus market agreement, a really important concept that kind of highlights closing line value or CLV, something you really should be know about and should be tracking if you are trying to win as a long-term sports better. Uh, strong markets versus weak markets. This was really eye-opening to me. Me being a big football fan, I was oftentimes betting a lot of my energy into really strong markets, not necessarily realizing the weaker markets are a whole lot more vulnerable. The understanding the difference between a strong market and a weak market, really important to a long-term successful sports better. They do a really Really great job in part two highlighting uh, exactly that top. Part three, winning. This is the best part of the book because obviously that's what everybody wants to do in sports betting. They want to win. Now, again, I want to be clear, like I said earlier, the authors aren't going to tell you exactly how to win. If you're looking for bet on the New England Patriots every Thursday night football, when they wear their alternate unis, they're going to cover 10 point spreads. That's not how you're, you're going to find in this book. That's not a thing. The authors actually do a really good job of explaining why that's not the case. If they gave you three or four magic tricks on how to win at sports betting, as soon as this book hit the press, they every better in the sports world would do them. The books would count for them. They would be gone. Angles or edges are fleeting. They don't last. And pretty soon they all get caught. Ed and Matthew talk about that a little bit in this book, and they kind of give you a sense of uh, what they've looked like in the past and how you can find them in the future. And that's what you're trying to do. You are trying to understand the markets, understand how they work, so then when you see a weakness, you can pounce on it and you can find it. And that's what part three is all about. It's finding those weaknesses in derivative markets, parlays, same game parlays, uh, correlated parlays, a whole number of uh, betting strategies that you can use to your advantage to help you win more betting. Bets. If you are going to read one book on sports betting, and if you haven't read any of their books on sports betting, you're probably kind of new. It needs to be The Logic of Sports Betting by Ed Miller and Matthew Davidow. It is the gold standard of today's modern sports betting. It was printed in 2019. Um, the world of sports betting is, is rapidly evolving, but I was impressed with how many uh, things they addressed that are still very true today, especially in the online sports betting world. Everyone's betting on their smartphones. They talk a lot about a lot about that and what that looks like, and they kind of make some predictions as to what it's going to look like in the future. Um, it's the one-stop shop. Uh, if you are a beginner, if you are an amateur, if you are even an intermediate sports better, there might be some concepts that you might have missed that they're going to do a really good job of covering in this book. One, but if you're going to do one book on sports betting, it's got to be The Logic of Sports Betting by Ed Miller and Matthew Davidow. 
for the record, I have never met Ed or Matthew. I'm not going to receive a dime whether you buy this book or not. Hopefully, you guys already knew that, but it's probably worth saying. Uh, you can pick up the Logic of Sports Betting on Amazon. I got it for 20 bucks. Uh, probably around the same anywhere else. Paperback. Uh, really great read. Uh, you should check it out. Thanks so much for watching my book review today. The Logic of Sports Betting brought to you by OddsJam.com. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let's, if you've already read the book, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you'd like me to do other books in the future, let me know. I'd love to read them and uh, post a review of those as well. Thank you all so much. Until next time.